Hey everybody, hope you're having a great music day. And I've been using a pair of Logitech speakers that have a subwoofer, but the challenge is the subwoofer, I couldn't adjust the volume. And I'm here in an apartment and the bass is, to me, pretty strong. And I was concerned, one, it was just too much bass, and two, my neighbors. So I was looking for an alternative pair of speakers. And at first I thought I was gonna get a very pair of expensive speakers. And then I came across these Logitech Z130 speakers and the reviews really have been extremely positive. They're low profile, the price was right, and really looking forward to putting these to the test. So I'm going to go ahead and do an open boxing, try them out, and then give you my final thoughts. If you have any comments, please let me know. If you're using them, I'd love to know how they're working for you. I'm a big Logitech fan. I have several of their products. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to trying these out. Again, this is the Z130 stereo speakers. Uh, it does have 5 watts of power, maximum 10 watts, probably then for both speakers. Uh, these are great whether you're using them for your laptop or, in my case, my desktop. And I'm going to put them on my desk back here. And as you can see, it's not very high on the bottom shelf so these should fit perfectly and again uh, these won't have the subwoofer so I uh, don't have to worry about that heavy bass now uh, nice packaging as always some of the highlights here uh, 10 watts rich stereo sound with 10 watts peak of total power you get stereo sound that's clear and strong easy to control it's a snap to get the sound you want with simple volume and power controls Built-in headphone jack, plug your headphones and listen to music, movies, games, where you want to, and high-quality acoustics. So let's go ahead and get it opened. Uh, there's some other uh, tech specifications, uh, works with, and it talks about computers, uh, on any major operating system, what's in the box, the speakers, the power supply, and the user documentation. Then, of course, they have it in other languages as well. <laughs> So, all right, so let's get this going. All right, so you can see when you open the box, it's got, uh, let's see, it's just showing one, plug the power, two, plug into the jack, the three, the on off, and then you, of course you, if you've got a head headphone jack, headset, you can plug those right into uh, the front, uh, the headset jack. And it goes into a 3.5 millimeter jack on the back of your, Computer, in my case, my desktop. So we got the speakers in there. Got the power supply. Looks like a very small power supply. And then got the uh, instructions here. And let's see if there's anything important in here to know. Obviously, it's a pretty basic setup. Just some um, uh, important uh, safety, compliance, and warranty. So nothing overly important. So let's take the speakers out of the bag. So there you go. Two nice looking pairs of speakers. And take the plastic off the 3.5 millimeter jack so I can plug that into my computer. Of course, the power adapter. So I'll have to just take this off. Since this is the side that's closer to my computer, I'll put the the 3.5 millimeter jack right there. And this works perfectly. And it looks good on my desk. So you can see I got that there, right there under my desk. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And then we're gonna go ahead and test the sound. By the way, I want to show you before I actually fully set this up, right here is the jack where your headset would go if you wanted to listen with your computer uh, headset or one of your favorite headsets there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the speakers. You can see it's got a green light there. And now let's go ahead and test the sound out. Well, I just listened to a few songs. Uh, I found a couple of songs that have a lot of bass in it on YouTube that or that is supposed to have bass and a couple of my favorite songs just to hear the clarity of the speakers. The clarity of the speakers are very good, I think, for the money, uh, but I'm missing that bass and I'm probably gonna have to find a speaker that does have a bit more bass that I can control 
But, you know, for the money and many of the things that you might do on your computer, these definitely uh, should work for you. But again, if you're into music, you're probably going to want to find something that has a, a bit more bass in it and that you can control. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, nice speakers. They look good. They sound pretty good. Uh, just missing that bass, as I shared. And uh, we'll probably just keep looking and see if I find a pair that will work well for me. Anyway, have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.